Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. So now uh, we are going to talk about a problem which is very common across uh, different projects or teams, which is the problem of uh, unattended execution, which means uh, you don't uh, execute your automated tests manually because it defeats the purpose of automation. Okay, so you build your automated tests, but then you end up running them manually, which is a waste of resources and time. So every automation project, no matter if you're using Tosca or you are not using Tosca, you should have some kind of unattended execution, which means you should be able to schedule your automated tests to run without any manual interruption or without any manual efforts, right? So that should be unattended. It should not be done by a person sitting behind a desk and manually executing the tests and looking at those tests, right? So all this process should be automated. Now, there are multiple ways to schedule this uh, test executions. One way is obviously you can use a CI CD tool. But what if you don't have any CI CD integration or you don't have access to these tools? then you can always fall back upon your windows scheduler which is a window based tool which can schedule any particular events and we can use this window scheduler to uh, schedule our executions from tosca commander so i'm going to show you how we can do that uh, we already know about tc shell right so this is the command line tool for tosca through which you can do different tasks without even opening Tosca Commander. And uh, we are going to use the same method to uh, schedule our execution from the Windows Scheduler, okay? So for this, um, I've already prepared a TC shell, okay, script. So if I open this, it is in the format .tcs. So whenever you are creating any TC shell script, it will be in the format of .tcs, which is the extension, right? Now, uh, what I'm doing here, so I'm using this TCSL command. So first one is to jump to node. Okay, so what node it is, it is going into the execution folder, then into execution list, and then into this swag labs folder, and then it is going into this run login. Okay, when um, I look at this, so this is, the jump to node, which will basically uh, jump to this particular node, okay? And then uh, there is a task command, which is to clear the log. Then there is a task to run the execution, and then there's a task to save the results, okay? So these are all the tasks which this particular script will perform. Now, the next uh, thing here is the batch file, okay? So this is the batch command which will be executed. And uh, if we go ahead and look at it, so if you look at edit in notepad, so here uh, it is first going into the commander home directory. Okay, so there is a CD command. And then this is uh, the TC cell workspace command where we are trying to open the workspace. Okay, so this is the workspace file path and then we are providing the login credentials for us it is a local workspace so it has got no login credentials and then we are passing uh, the parameter which is the script okay so c training tc shell script.tcs which is the path of the file so this is the batch command which will be used for triggering the execution okay and this batch command will be uh, triggered from the windows scheduler right now uh, we will go to the windows scheduler okay for that um, i'm going to search for that okay so task scheduler and here is the task scheduler so we will open this we will go to the task scheduler library okay and from the right hand side there is an action tab. so from here we will click on create task uh, here we will provide it a name so we will say Tosca executions. Okay, so execution 
for Tosca automated test. Okay, so I'll give it a name and description. Then here uh, we will run this with highest privileges. Okay. Then we'll go to the triggers tab. Here we will click on new. And now we will uh, begin the tasks. So you can see there are lots of different options, right? So we will keep it on a schedule. Uh, we'll keep it one time. So I will keep it after just two minutes, okay? So that we will see it uh, running. So let me make it, okay? And then there are advanced settings. You can delay the task for random delay. You can repeat the task uh, every one hour or duration. Um, and then you can expire and stop task, okay? So these are okay. Uh, we'll click on okay. So our trigger is now enabled. Now we will go to actions. Uh, we'll click on new. Uh, we will choose the action as start a program. And then, uh, we'll choose the program script here, okay? So here we will choose the execute batch command, right? And now we will click on okay and click on okay. And now we will verify in the scheduler library whether our uh, event is being displayed here or not, right? So you can see Tosca executions uh, status is ready triggers at this time on this date, okay? And it will also show you the next runtime here. So this is the next runtime. And now we just need to wait for this to trigger the execution, okay? So it will trigger it after two minutes. Um, what I can also do is I can basically right click on this and I can start the run right away, okay? Or I can wait for uh, it to execute at the given time. So let's uh, wait for this uh, to trigger the event, okay? Okay, so as you can see, uh, the Windows command, uh, it opened on its own and it started uh, to run all the commands which we have provided in that batch command, right? So uh, it is now currently running, but the problem is I have kept the workspace open, right? So uh, it will not execute until I close the workspace because it cannot log in into the workspace, right? Because it is open locally. So I'm going to close my workspace now. And here uh, now we are going to say no. Okay, um, so to show you, uh, I'm going to change the time of this particular uh, execution. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to properties and we are going to triggers. We will go and edit this trigger and we will try to trigger it again, okay? And I will keep it zero, click on okay and okay. Okay, so now we will wait for it to trigger this particular execution. This time it should run because I have closed the workspace. So always remember that whenever you are running anything from TC shell, uh, then your workspace should be closed if you're trying to open it from your command line, okay? So as you can see, uh, it started the command prompt on its own. I did not uh, started it and it all also started the execution now. So it is basically running the bad script in the background. So it will complete this execution and then um, it will perform all the tasks and uh, it will end uh, the event, okay? So whatever we have scheduled will run on its own. You can do it on a daily basis. You can do it on a weekly basis or you can do it on um, any time you like, right? So this is a powerful uh, scheduling tool Okay, you don't need to always depend on a CI CD tool. Uh, if you don't have a CI CD integration in your project, you can still uh, do unattended execution automatically using the task scheduler, which is 
part of your Windows uh, operating system. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.